Welcome to the August Spotlight on Life Insurance, brought to you by ProducersWeb.com. I'm Paul Wilson, and in this broadcast, we'll cover some of this topic's biggest trends and most insightful research. This Spotlight on Life Insurance is sponsored by Creative Marketing, Making a Difference. For more information, please visit www.creativemarketing.net. The Board of Directors of American International Group, or AIG, has elected former MetLife CEO Robert Benmosh as its new CEO. Benmosh will begin his new role August 10th and will follow Edward Liddy, who announced in May that he would step down once a replacement was found to take his place as CEO and chairman. Benmosh is former chairman, president, and CEO of MetLife and has been a member of Credit Suisse Group since 2002. Liddy became chairman and CEO in September, shortly after the insurer received billions of dollars from the government after its near collapse. According to reports, the AIG board approved this decision this morning. A survey of more than 500 people aged 62 years and older finds that only about half of those who own life insurance policies are aware they can sell their life policies for cash, even as they continue to experience increasing pressure from falling home values, losses in investment portfolios, and difficulty in obtaining loans and lines of credit. Commissioned by Golden Gateway Financial and the Insurance Studies Institute, the poll finds that 80% of respondents own some type of life insurance, but many were unaware of the options available to them. Meanwhile, nearly 60% fear their savings and overall net worth will be affected by the precarious state of the economy, and 12% are concerned they won't be able to maintain life insurance payments, risking a lapse in coverage. Finally, the survey found that approximately 30% of respondents are considering returning to work in some capacity or delaying their retirement. Fitch Ratings believes that ratings assigned to life insurers in the U.S. will continue to face pressure for the remainder of the year and into 2010, as insurer credit quality continues to struggle due to difficult conditions in the credit and equity markets. According to Fitch's mid-year update, U.S. life insurance sector, insurers should expect rating da ratings downgrades to continue for the foreseeable future, although ratings actions taken recently have incorporated more conservative estimates of future losses. As a result, Fitch anticipates the level of downgrades to moderate during the second half of the year. Fitch downgraded 42 U.S. life insurance groups during the last quarter of 2008 and the first half of 2009, after downgrading just 13 groups during the previous three quarters. According to Douglas Meyer, managing director in Fitch's insurance group, quote, the dramatic deterioration in the financial markets has been a significant stress test for U.S. life insurers. While the industry has performed reasonably well relative to many other financial services sectors, the impact on the capital, earnings, and liquidity profile of many U.S. life insurers has been significant, unquote. I'm Paul Wilson, and thanks for watching the Spotlight on Life Insurance. To see more video spotlights on your favorite products and practices, find them on ProducersWeb.com and browse by topic.